Everyone here seems to have calmed down. Feels more like they're expecting the end of the world. Carol's been taking the Dawn's passing pretty hard, too. And it looks like things are keeping the old man busy. I guess it comes with being a member of Altosk. Huh. He gave up his own life to make amends for what happened. The guilds take their laws pretty seriously. The pride of living by the laws of the guild? Taking responsibility. Accepting the choices he'd made. The Don practiced what he preached. And he was willing to stake his life on those beliefs. Responsibility. Choices. I've got to get these things figured out myself. Best to start with our guild. With Brave Vesperia. Yuri? Where are you? Just going for a walk. He probably went looking for Carol. Carol. Well, Don, here's to you. Great character, awesome person. You can learn a lot about honor from him. Anyway, Don's passing. Now my hands have killed someone I never wanted to kill. Don, that feeling still hasn't left my hands. You really were a piece of work, old man. Yeah, you could tell Yuri did not want to do that. Yuri only kills with reason. Don didn't need to die. But the law said he need, needed to, and so... Hmm. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh well. See how, let's see how Carol's holding up. I think he's down... Uh, over by the inn, I want to say. I, I can't remember where Carol is. Where is Carol, by the way? Um, he, can't, he couldn't have ran too far. Carol! Where the devil are you, son? Really? Holy poop! Yeah, I know you're gonna go check on Carol. That's why I'm trying to look for him. Where the hell is he, anyway? I don't think he's any in any of the shops. If I can't find him anytime soon, yeah, I'm cutting to when I find him. Carol, oh, there you are. There you are. Why are you over here, buddy? Yuri, I. There wasn't anything I could do. The Dawn, and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. So I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking, and just attack anyway. When I thought that, I... I was too scared to go alone. So I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? Weren't you going to look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it, then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia mean to you? Just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! For him to notice me! He's been a role model for me. And now he's not around. So you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it that Dawn died for? You, of all people, should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri. You never understand how I feel. I'm not tough like you. There's no way I can be like you and the Dawn. It's over. Our guild is... Carol! Don't you remember all the Dawn told you? Did you forget his resolve? <sighs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Timza to find Judy. Huh? Ray Vesperia will go on. Even if you don't, this guild is more than just you now. <laughs> I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but... Well, if you don't want to run away, Carol, you gotta grow a freaking backbone. You know, I know you're a kid, and I know you have issues, and I know you kind of have doubts and all, but 
this isn't helping your cause at all. Buck up and get out there and do what the Don told you to do. Be strong, buddy. I know you have it in you. Anyway, enough about Carol and his wimpiness and stuff. How's everybody else doing? Yeah, they're not here. Fine. Screw you, game. Screw you. Maybe they're at the hotel. The inn. Whatever. Same thing. Right? <sighs> thing about Tales of Vesperia is when you need to find somebody, they're not in the place that you expect them to be. They're in a completely different place. So it's kind of one of those things that makes me where uh, makes it show that I have not played this game in a while. At least this part of the game. Really? Do I just have to stay in here? No? No? Okay. 400 gold down the drain. Screw you too, buddy. Screw you too. Highway robbery! He'll be all right. He'll be fine. But well, now if it isn't the darling boy and girl, how very nice to see you both. Jaeger, you've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palestrale is a matter for the Union to decide. Yep, that's right. We just helped inform their decision. <laughs> Exactly. Understand, my little friend? I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. It was still in mourning, you see. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without the poor dawn around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the Dawn by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. Even Jaeger is mourning the Dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Dawn Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. To the Dawn, there was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. The Dawn did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. But what about Carol? I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Alright, so yeah, that's right. Outside the inn there. <laughs> anyway, Carol, hope you're feeling better, buddy. Because uh, we're kind of leaving right now. Where's Carol? What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. I knew it! <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself gonna come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. 
He'll come. Now let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the Dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. First off, we need to make our way to Desier. Let's get to the ship. boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks! But don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I... I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss. I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. Mm, yeah. Quite juvenile, isn't it? Ah! Hey, old man! Ah, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well, don't you have your hands full with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse, and there wasn't a tear left in me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raven, but uh, I don't even buy that story myself. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. So not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. <laughs> what are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right, we'll leave it at that. Oh, man, these kids today, I tell you. So now we can depart for Desier, right? Huh? Why are we going back there? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sansa Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. So are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Alright, like I said before I was interrupted by Carol, I'm touching words of everybody. Mountain Thames is actually really easy to get to. You don't have to go through Nordopolica and stuff. Um, I am going to go check something. Is speaking of Nordopolica. If anything happens in their side quest wise and all that fun stuff. Oh, hello there, ghost ship. What are you doing, Athrun? Uh, I'll just go ahead and show it. Uh, if not, I'll pop right back out and head back off to Mount Temza. So, anyway, Nordopolica. Nope, nothing in there quite uh, yet for us. There will be later on. Uh, we it, we haven't seen the last of that place yet. Anyway, if we actually go up through here, I think we can actually get a make our way uh, up to where we need to go, or get stuck by this reef. Thank you, reef, for being right there in the way. 
and not letting us pass. So, yeah. Mount Thames is actually quite close to where we are right now, so it's not too terribly far. Again, with being stuck. This is what happens when you travel really, really close to land. Lots of stuff gets kind of jumbled up and all that fun stuff. Should be right around here, I think. Um, come on. Where the hell am I going, anyway? This is what happens when you don't... Ye okay, I think I messed something up here. Where the hell am I going? Where the double am I going? Um, crap. I kind of wish I had a freaking flying thing. Um, that way I could actually see where the hell I'm going. Like I said, should be... I think I see it. I think I see where we're supposed to go. That little mountain formation right there. How, where do I dock at? That's the question of the day. Is docking procedures in order to get to Temza. I know how to get it to it from Nord Apollica on foot, but I don't want to go through Weaves and Kados in order to get there. That'd be friggin' annoying as hell. Poop and all that fun stuff. I think this is where it's at. Okay. Maybe I was a Okay, Sansa Kogor right there. There's uh Jormgen right there, which would make Mount Temza right here, and we can get off. Ooh, hey. Yeah, already meant Mount Temza, and there's also new enemies here, so. I don't think these guys are actually in Mount Temza, so. We do battle with all our might. And I actually do have a few, uh... Oh, that reminds me, the, the boss battle in this place. Dang it! I don't want to... No. Oh, hey, Altered Art! What's going on? Oh, yeah, I'm... Really? Quit friggin' hitting my face. Come on, hurry up. Life bottle me. Life bottle me. Thank you. This is what you get for... Hey, come on. There you go. That's what you get for casting magic on my face. Come on. Death to you. I'm going to save the magic lenses for the boss fight because I know exactly what it, what it's coming up and I know exactly what I'm gonna have to do for we're done the uh, yeah it's, it's gonna be fun trust me it's gonna be completely fun not really against <laughs> uh, uh, my better judgment Carol you're coming in the party Which means, let's do that one, right. I still need to get stuff for Raven. Mm. I'll do that later on when I actually have the money and stuff. Actually, I should equi uh, get my equipment upgraded before I do this. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. <gasps> These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Apathea all of a sudden? We never had the chance to get an explanation from the dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up.
What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago, that I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... That voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's all right. Let's hurry. 